What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So last week I made a video talking about how I got sick and that kind of sent me down to a bit of a depressive spiral. But, you know, just to give you guys an update, I am feeling a lot better now and a lot happier now that I have somewhat regained some of my smell and taste and it's it's truly a godsend to being able to finally enjoy food again. I've also received a lot of supportive comments from friends or random strangers on the internet that have seen the video and from the bottom of my heart I just want to thank you guys for the kind words and I, I was really surprised by how much support that I've gotten. So now that I'm feeling much better, I'm hoping that I can start getting more content out there for you guys, or at least prepare a little better for the content that I'm going to create. But I was hoping I could use today's video to kind of just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, human to human, just about what it's like living with your parents. So while I've been sick for about 10 days or so, I've been pretty much in bed for most of the time. It was either in bed or sleeping, but I had my parents to take care of me and feed me while I was basically stuck in my room all day. And that kind of just made me think about how living with your parents after you graduate is so underrated. For those who aren't in the United States, I think it's pretty common for a child to grow up in a household and eventually just move out on their own when they turn 18. And I think it's kind of ridiculous how that works because most kids by the time they're 18 or 22 haven't really had much work experience or even income, so how are you really supposed to survive out there on your own? And luckily, I'm one of those kids in America that's been able to stay supported by my family even after I've turned 18 or 22. And that's probably partially because I grew up in a traditional Asian household and a lot of traditional, you know, families have multiple generations, so it's not just me and my parents, like, we're also taking care of elderly people. And I wasn't originally always such a proponent for living at home after college. Last year, in the summer of 2020, I accepted a full-time offer from a company whose office is in Los Angeles. And because everything was locked down, they decided to stay remote, so I wouldn't need to relocate anytime soon. But now that it's been almost a year since I started working, I kind of realized how screwed I would have been if I decided to move out to Los Angeles on my own without any connections on a entry-level salary. Rent in Los Angeles for one person is easily over $1,000, and if you want your own place, it's probably going to cost you at least $2,000 a month. If that were the case, I would be spending over half of my monthly salary just to rent out a small box in Los Angeles. And that wouldn't even account for food or needing a car or any other real expenses that any human would have. So staying home because of lockdown was kind of a really nice wake-up call for me because I started to become a lot more realistic about what I could achieve and what I could not achieve or what's actually feasible and sustainable for me with my current income. So it kind of dawned on me that living with my parents is actually such a great financial decision and you just have so much more freedom and independence or at least the lack of responsibilities that I would have if I were living on my own. For example, I don't really have to pay rent or for food, and I'm basically just not spending any money at all. And it's not like I'm just saving up my money and using my parents' money to buy whatever I want. I really am just 
using whatever I have in my home and not really spending extra money on anything else. I'm not really traveling nor do I go out at all because of lockdown and I pretty much have everything I need within this building and I pretty much get it for free which is amazing. Now I understand that not everyone has a stellar relationship with their parents and there are definitely some cons to living back home. For example, for example, it's pretty easy to get lazy because your parents are taking care of you, but it's also really nice and you kind of realize that this isn't going to last forever, so you might as well enjoy it while it lasts. You also can't really bring people home, or at least not without having to have that conversation with your parents if that's not something you're comfortable with. But I don't see that as a huge loss right now, especially since we can't go out. But I would much rather save money and not have a social life than have a social life with no money. Ideally, there's a balance between the two, but, you know, with no friends in my hometown right now, you might as well just save up. So my recommendation is that if you have a good relationship with your parents and want to save money, then definitely try living at home for a bit and see if it's the right move for you. That's just kind of the conclusion that I've come to and I know one day I'll have to move out and I'm definitely happy to cross that bridge when I get to it, but right now I am totally okay with just living in my room and having free food and having you know, my own personal home gym downstairs in the basement. I know a lot of people are going to feel like they aren't independent and independence is so uh, popular and applauded for in America, but I think it's okay to, to rely on people every now and then, or just at least take advantage of what you have. So after you guys have seen this video, I want to hear your thoughts. Have I changed your mind a bit about living with your parents after school? Is it something you plan to do or something you don't plan to do? Let me know in the comments below and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you next time.